Pope Liberius 310 the 24th of September 366 was pope of the Catholic Church from the 17th of May 352 until his death on the 24th of September 366. According to the Catalogus Liberianus, he was consecrated on the 22nd of May as the successor to Pope Julius I. He is not mentioned as a saint in the Roman Martyrology, making him the earliest pontiff to not to be venerated as a saint in the Roman Rite. Liberius is mentioned in the Greek Monology, the Eastern equivalent to the Martyrologies of the Western Church and a measure of sainthood prior to the institution of the formal Western processes of canonization. Life. Liberius is recognized as a saint within the Eastern Orthodox Church. His first recorded act was, after a synod had been held at Rome, to write to Emperor Constantius II, then in quarters at Arles 353 asking that a council might be called at Achilleia with reference to the affairs of Athanasius of Alexandria, but his messenger Vincentius of Capua was compelled by the emperor at a conciliabulum held in Arles to subscribe against his will to a condemnation of the Orthodox Patriarch of Alexandria. Constantius was sympathetic to the Arians, and when he could not persuade Liberius to his point of view sent the Pope to a prison in Baroea. At the end of an exile of more than two years in Thrace, after which it seems he may have temporarily relented, or been set up to appear to have relented, partially evidenced by three letters, quite possibly forgeries, ascribed to Liberius, the emperor recalled him under extreme pressure from the Roman population who refused to recognize the puppet, Pope, Felix, as the Roman see was, officially. Occupied by Antipope Felix II, a year passed before Liberius was sent to Rome. It was the emperor's intention that Liberius should govern the church jointly with Felix, but on the arrival of Liberius, Felix was expelled by the Roman people. Neither Liberius nor Felix took part in the Council of Rimini 359. .After the death of the Emperor Constantius in 361, Liberius annulled the decrees of that assembly but, with the concurrence of bishops Athanasius and Hilary of Poitiers, retained the bishops who had signed and then withdrew their adherence. In 366, Liberius gave a favorable reception to a deputation of the Eastern Episcopate, and admitted into his communion the more moderate of the old Arian party. He died on the 24th of September 366. Some historians have postulated that Liberius resigned the papacy in 365 in order to make sense of the reign of Antipope Felix II. That view is overwhelmingly outnumbered by the writings of historians and scholars which document Liberius's staunch orthodoxy through the end of his pontificate ended by his death. Topic: Legacy. Pope Pius IX noted in Cortus Supra that Liberius was falsely accused by the Arians and he had refused to condemn Athanasius of Alexandria. In his encyclical Principi Apostolorum Petro, Pope Benedict XV noted that Pope Liberius went fearlessly into exile in defense of the Orthodox faith. In the Eastern Orthodox Church, Liberius is a saint whose feast is celebrated on August 27. The Basilica di Santa Maria Maggiore in Rome is sometimes referred to as the Liberian Basilica. See also List of Catholic saints List of popes Notes Sources References This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed., 1911. Liberius. Encyclopædia Britannica, 16 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. External links Translation of Jaffe Kaltenbrunner's Register of the Roman Pontiff Theodoret of Cyrus' record of his confrontation with the emperor over Athanasius from his ecclesiastical history. <laughs>